Hello there, gang. DD Devere here, and I've a past blast playing a classic game from yesteryear. Today, we're playing a little bit of Soldiers Heroes of World War II. This was released by a Ukrainian developer. Uh, they were called Best Way Entertainment, and it was released back in 2004. So let it put it. Let's put it to the test. Test of time. Let's see how well it plays by today's standards. So options. Let's have a quick look at what we get now. Before we do that, actually, there is a small technical issue, at least for the Steam version, as you'll need to go to where you downloaded the game, find its EXE, then go to your compatibility options and set that to Windows XP Service Pack Free. Otherwise, you'll have a few problems on modern operating systems. And after that. It should be all good to go and you will be golden. So option wise, there's our video settings. Now there's also another small slight te technical issue. Leave it on use desktop settings. Don't try to, use to manually set them. It's still playing in 1080 so that's not a problem. But I, I did and it completely crashed my game out and wiped out my, wiped out my files. I had, to, well, I had to basically wipe out my profile delete it and then reinstall it to re-verify Steam files so yeah, leave that on desktop settings, otherwise you also might encounter a few issues outside of that, there's not a lot else in the way of the graphic settings and audio settings are a bit better it looks a bit peachier, quite a few more options to balance them there a few game options one thing is your camera scroll speed here you might want to crank that down a tad as it's, it's a little bit a little bit wild and untamed initially. It's up here somewhere. Another one you might want to play on or off is Fog of War. Basically, it's how if the enemies in your line of sight, they'll appear. They'll only appear when they when they're clear, close to you, and you can see them. If you have it off, then basically they just appear, and you can scan around and find them. And that just changes the tension up a bit having that on in my in my experience. Uh, between vehicles I leave that on I don't know why so I don't think it makes any difference so finally keys rebindable lots of them to rebind so if you enjoy rebinding keys yep you're uh, you're golden and good to go here but luckily it's not as it's not as terrifying as it looks as we'll see when we get into the game itself so the game did used to have multiplayer but that's yeah that's pretty much dead there's also a training missions, a few little training options they're not very good, in fairness especially it doesn't help because it, although it's playing in modern resolutions the DPI of the text doesn't scale so it's very hard to say what it, the training actually wants you to do so so uh, we'll just dive on in with some of the actual single player so you get a few bonus missions here which is nice to have I guess and your campaign, so you get four campaigns the Russian, the British, the American and the German one which is a sort of a historical Michael Whitman type deal. Now each one of these it gets five missions each, except for the British one, which for some reason gets six. So 21 missions in total, and plus your bonus missions. So what I'll do is I'll dive on in with the Russian one. I'll replay the the introduction is just a little bit of blurb about the over the over overarching story and what's going on in this front on the, in this part of the war. I'll replay Chappelle because that's kind of good, a good introduction to let you see what the game's about. I'll skip the introduction that comes when you start the mission and see you guys and gals in game. The eastern section of the village of Chappelle. The defenders are currently engaged in a battle at the other side of the village. It sounds like the remainder of the 23rd have started their offensive. Despite having the element of surprise here, the enemy units are well trained and still pose a significant threat. Right, so we've got to assault this village. We've got to destroy some artillery pieces and kill all soldiers. And the killing when you've got to kill all enemy on the map, they, those missions can be quite a grind because they're quite big maps, especially some of the later ones, and they can be just about anywhere. So hunting down that last remaining soldier can be a bit of a be a bit of a time sink. The interface is simple enough. So this is, of course, a real-time strategy. We have a lot more emphasis on real-time than most, as we shall see shortly. So at the moment, we have a tank, an armoured car, and these two bods here. 
We also have our objective list. Destroy German defensive guns, eliminate all traces of enemy. And there's a map of our over a, our area of operations. And let's see, so here's something you might notice. Here we have tank crew members. Uh, any soldier can drive any vehicle. They don't have to be specific, but at the start of a mission, they tend to be crewed by the right type. And this one only has two, two bods in it. So, so far, so standard RTS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to sit on the tank and drive into, ride into battle on the back of it, but I probably won't do that right now. So down the bottom right here is your control icon. I'm going to switch them. While well, they are now on return fire, I'm going to leave them on fire at will. Because at this moment in time, that's probably more useful. We're not trying to do any sort of stealthing here. We're trying to just get in there and basically have a war. You've got so you'll see some little icons here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The AI Pathfinding can be a little bit manky. It doesn't like reversing. It likes to turn around and always dr basically drive forward. Should have some enemy up here somewhere. Those sandbags are a good sign. There's going to be some guns along there. Oh, there we go. There's some of the enemy. So it's not the most fluid interface at the moment. So you see down here, that's our troop. His stamina and his health. Now if I slip, select his PPSH, he'll actually load it. For some reason, they don't even battle with their weapons loaded. And he's got an anti tank rifle. There's any secondaries they might have. Which in this case is a anti personnel grenades or anti tank grenades. So while it's so far so standard, what makes this game quite interesting is if I hold down the control key, I can move him with the arrow keys. As you see there, so I can actually take direct control. Little crosshair changes to see whether the his chances of hitting things are. What are you firing at? Oh, an enemy tank has come to engage. Let's move these two up a tad. So the visuals are pretty nice, and you know, you can pan your camera around and. Oh, what did you turn your side towards the enemy for? <laughs> Normally can't get him. Oh, I bet. Right, this is. I need to take direct control because it's probably. Right, can he not get a sight on it? A shot on him or something? Oh, right, this is going badly wrong already. Right, he's been hit by an anti tank grenade. Move up. Oh, wow, that's it. Well, that's this mission dead. We've, we've lost already. Uh, I might as well get you to prone. Uh, try and get you to some cover. Let you know, get you to stay here to cover him. Yep, yeah, that, that's the. <laughs> right, well, there we go. What do we do now? We hit the restart button, I think. Because I've got absolutely no chance of doing this mission. Will you, will you fire at some enemies or do something useful? You commie. Oh, the try when they spaz out like this, try to get your troop. He's dead. This was just on a normal difficulty level, by the way. <laughs> he's look at him. Anti tank rifle sniper, this lad. He's going for it. He's buying his life dearly. Damn, do they like grenades, these guys. And that's him toast anyway. Oh, sweet. Called a duty shot there. Took two down with his last round. <laughs> yeah, continue. Failed. Whatever. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chief. Yeah, thank you. Restart the mission. Yes, let's restart the mission. You know, we have a lot of choice. Yeah, this game is tough. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Now, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Skip all this. Yeah, not interested. Just... Good, good, good. So, yes, the, the interface is a little bit clumpy. Let's, uh, let's get them to switch their weapons back on again so they're actually armed. Let's put everyone into fire at will. 
Right, let's move him back up there again. Let's move you back up here again. I'll move you guys up with him this time. So yeah, this this is being their first game in the series. They're this is very much a small scale, small unit tactics rather than any large sweeping like you might be like a lot of RTSs where you can have hundreds of units. That's not the case here. You've usually got a small handful of troops, which makes any loss in this game quite punishing. In some some missions, you'll only have one. You know, literally, you're, you're, some of them are sort of almost stealth missions where you have to go through and reconnoitre positions and meet up with the rest of your troops. So you do have to play a bit steady here. This game is is not a is not a speedrunner's dream. We take threat control more often just to just to make sure they're shooting at what I want them to shoot at. Yeah, the, the AI isn't terrible. Right, so I don't want it to be in the range of those field guns and that. Wow, the, what the AI actually missed me two shots in a row. That's a rarity. Move him back just to cover from there. Keep moving him back because that tank will come to engage me, hopefully. Right, get you proned again. That's a reload button. So you've got a few different things. We'll show you some of the infantry things that are, ma are important. Oh, no. It says... Right, is it... What are we fighting exactly? Ah, oh, good. They've bailed out. They've abandoned that vehicle. That's good. You come up here somewhere. Uh, so you'll notice those little things here, like we get that will let me vault fences. Double click to make them run. You can leave them on move at will. And they'll sort of when if when things start kicking off, they will take cover on their own account. Oh, cool! They blocked the APC as well. Right, this is going good, or rather, this is going better. So you don't have much scroll in to scroll out in this game, and you've only got a very limited angle you can cant it at but uh, right so we know there's some guns up here so press I bring up my inventory I'll be a repair kit a fuel cam because they do have fuel it currently has 144 we have 45 AP shells 22 high, high X shells and 1800 rounds of machine gun ammunition that's our main cannon and our secondary gun You've really got to keep your eye out for enemy infantry, by the way, because they love anti-tank grenades in this game. Oh, no, is that gun dead or not? Nope. Wow, you've got a good hit as well. If you right-click, you can switch between your weapon types. Now, as we have four crewmen here, that means this one... Ah, oh, that's a shame. We didn't get to... We didn't get there in time. Oh, that's not a shame. That's a... Uh... That's another enemy tank. Let's switch from a shell type back to AP. Yeah, if you've got four men, basically you can, you can have a vehicle with only one person in it. Can we not see it? Hello, tank. Tank. Could you, could you fire? Why can they not see that enemy tank? Oh, my gun's been damaged or destroyed. Well, we've lost this one again. Basically, at this point in time. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're dead. Turret's gone. It's been pounded by another anti-tank gun. So I'm not going to get to show you the repair options. Oh, I might do. Right. Let's try and think quickly here. Where are I? Well, <laughs> think quickly. That's a strong word. If I press X, which is that examine here. You see, your troops, all of your troops, you can loot other things. Right, so if I give him the toolkit quickly, go to his inventory. This is probably going to get him killed. And it's a little bug. You can't select can't select things directly, toolkits directly for some reason. Out of the inventory. Not something it seems to have seen him. I wonder if he could get some shots on this enemy tank. 
over here. And we've got not a lot to lose at this moment in time, so... <laughs> no, can you not see it? The thing is, each piece of damage, turret, guns, tracks, engine, all needs to be repaired one bit at a time. We're kind of caught in a catch-22 here. I've got no way of... I wonder if I get that vehicle right. I'm going to try a quick suicide run by taking direct control. At least try and stop that. If I can kill the, anti the crew on the anti-tank gun. Did that just fire as well? I can just buy some breathing space for my tank here. I might have a chance. Right, okay, this... Oh no, don't fire at that! Fire over this! Right, we've got them two out of the way. This is probably going to get this destroyed, but... I need some breathing space. And get behind this gun crew here. Oh, there's a house in the way. Good grief. Right, that's them dead. But so is them dead, because he's that guy's throwing his grenades. They, these guys love their anti-tank grenades. <laughs> right, that's. I think that's them dead. At least I can take a few of them with them. Right, so how do I tank down here do? Oh, it did just... He did it. He did it. He died doing it. Right. And my shot misses. Oh, that will happen so often in this game. So that's the other problem. Not only is this game quite hard, <laughs> but the AI cheats like you wouldn't believe. They will pretty much always hit your vehicle. Your vehicle will spend most of its time missing them or having shots bounce off the armour. He's using the AP, isn't he? Right. Uh-oh. Right. Oh, we're dead anyway. I didn't spot them. And we've got a reload just at that point. Oh, maybe not, right? Back to NP, see that hit him low. I think it's actually detract him. That's just that's a rarity. Right, we, st we still might get away with this. Maybe not. I mean, this is supposed to be <laughs> this is supposed to be a T thirty four against just a Panzer three or whatever that is. This this should be sort of not having this level of difficulty. As soon as, soon as you play the German campaign. This T-34 will become an absolute killing monster against your type of these tanks, I can promise you. So the AI does cheat a bit. Wait, is he still alive? No, he's dead as well. Oh no, he is, he's still alive. Right, get up, get up. Page up and page down to change this stance. If I'm really quick here, where did my matey boy go with the who got killed? Oh, are you joking me? I can't see his body. Oh, there it is. Right. You. Right, pick up that tool kit. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore that for a moment, so I'll get him to repair this. Whew, that was tight. I mean, it's not gone very well. <laughs> We've... Uh, Lost one armoured car and our other bod. But still salvageable. I mean, we won't play the full of this mission because I say that try to find these ones where you've got to kill all enemy units. You, you, They can be anywhere on these fairly large maps. Trying to hunt down that last one, that can be quite a time sink. Right, good. That, that's going. But I'll quickly rush that forward to give him some covering fire because he Okay, so this is the next clever bit of this game. What are you looking at? Stop, stop, stop. I didn't want you that, that far. I want you back here. I want you covering him. A oh, nice thing. Because there's quite a bit of destruction in the environment. As you see, you can... What's shooting? What's shooting? Oh, it's this. 
Oh, it was that. Yeah, you can smash through fences, drive through houses, blow to pieces. It's not very advanced. It's not very advanced sort of uh, destruction at this moment in time, but pretty much everything. Knock down trees in tanks. You, yeah, you can do a bit like that here. F2004, so this is very much, as I say, a real, real-time strategy. Very much the real bit is true, because you have to really kind of control everything. You can't you can't take your eyes off them for a second. Right, excellent. Let me show you who's boss around here. So now that we've fixed that, if I get him to put that away. In fact, what I'm going to do, come over here for a second. Right, I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pick up that SMG off the ground there. Attack. So you know, he's got something a little bit more personal. A bit more personal protection. Grab that. Put him back to his SMG. Now. Boom, 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 boom. We've got a new tank. To replace our other one. Yes, if, if you can repair vehicles. So what's that got? Got plenty of fuel. 150. We've got. I for the inventory again. Let's see, we've got 50 AP and 50 high explosive and 650 machine gun rounds. Now, since there's only one chap in this, you can't do everything at once. So I can, if I start driving, you'll see the turret can't do anything. and I can't use the bow machine gun or things like that. So yeah, and, and that's the other good thing, is the amount, of, the amount of vehicles in this game is incredible. You've got everything from motorcycle sidecars to your tanks... AA guns, field guns, if these hadn't been blown up, you could probably repair them and get somebody on the field guns as well. Uh, fixed machine gun emplacements. It, this really does have quite a quite a bit going for it. In that respect, and there's all the weapons you'd expect as well. As you see, you can loot bodies directly, get ammunition off them, different weapon types. There is a ton of stuff to do in this game. Or, ton of stuff to find. So it's very much, as I say, it's very much your small unit tactics. Oh, I'm keep my eye on what they're firing on. Oh, we've got the high X up. I know why you survived that, I don't know. Uh, could you fire your machine gun at him? Cheers. <laughs> Oh, see that? He's because he's looking at something else. He's about to get himself, he's about to get himself anti-tank grenaded, and that would detract him instantly, leaving him dead in the ground. So yeah, the, 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 this game is tough and challenging. Oh, thank God, he saw it. He didn't. Oh no, there you go. Hopefully that wasn't an anti-tank grenade. Will you shoot at the thing? who's right there, trying to kill you. No, it's detract him, look. It has detract him. Oh, he's detract as well. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. That is such... Oh. Such an annoyance. So you've only got one repair kit, so you've got to be really careful about... about keeping it in place. Otherwise, uh... Oh, no. Right, back in, back in. Because you're going to get yourself gunned down. You've got the repair kit. But until I get one of them repaired, I can't bring the other one up in support of him. What I could do is try and get one of these guys out. Get him to drop the tank, get back in the tank's inventory, and get him to, yeah, do it, get him to drop the thing back in the tank's inventory. Then get the spare bod from this, and then maybe get that other. What was that little machine gun vehicle they shot a minute ago? Was it, was it blown up completely? Ah. Yeah, if something gets destroyed completely, obviously you can't fix it and you can't ever get it back again. So yeah, the, the game is tough. It's pretty good looking for its age. So yeah, there's a ton of vehicles. Uh, the, the missions are admittedly small scale at this moment in time. Nothing too big. Only a small handful of troops to your name. So you really have to you really have to shepherd your resources. The ammunition is never scarce. You can pretty much loot everybody you see to get stuff off of them. So there's loot crates. You can loot weapons off of vehicles as well. 
if I if I if I hadn't blown up, I could have took the machine gun off of it. I had my chap walk around using the machine gun from the vehicle he'd captured. <laughs> so there's a lot of clever inventive ideas here, and the fact it is yeah, real time strategy and the fact that you are pretty much controlling everything. So it's just annoying you can't switch directly but to your toolbox that way. It gets a little bit cumbersome. And to say, but yeah, the AI does cheat. The AI cheats like crazy, as you've seen pretty much every time I've been engaged, I've been detracked. That almost never happened. When you're firing at the enemy, though, you saw earlier on what happened there. It was soaking up as much rounds as it could take before it finally gave up. And it was only right near the end did it get detracked. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's. Was he fixed already? Oh, good show. Right, we'll get over here and fix this one as well. Um, yeah, it, 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 this game is tough and challenging. You will be safe scumming like you wouldn't believe. Especially on the missions when you've got one troop to get through or he's got to meet reinforcements and collect them on the way and things like that. Oh, the times you will restart those games can be can be quite stressful. But there's a ton of content, loads of weapons. You've got the four campaigns, you've got the bonus missions... And of course, eventually this, this made its way to the, the Men of War series. This was, this was their first game, best way being a Ukrainian developer. Then they did Faces of War. There were two expansions for this. I don't know if expansions or direct follow-ups. But they never they never got released. Uh, in where, They only got released in Eastern Europe. And then, of course, yeah, it became the Men of War series. So the good thing is, is at this moment, in t at the time, at the time of me making are releasing this video or publishing this video up uh, over at fanatical.com they've got one of their pick and mix bundles going you can get five keys for a couple of quid for two pounds or roughly two euros or approximately two dollars you can use the sort of click and fire method and have him no see that's why I wanted him just to shoot at him this is what I mean you, you really do want to be controlling things here Right, I'm gonna just gonna smash over this house just for the fun of it. Yeah, for two pounds, uh, two US dollars, two euros, you can get. Oh no! How did you not see again? You, you have to babysit them because he's firing for something over there, and he's tracked again. Both tracks this time. Brilliant. <laughs> right, you come back here. I'm gonna keep you two together. I think. Uh, yeah, you get five keys, and they've got a load of the load of the games. They've got this, they've got this, Faces of War, as well as as some of the Men of War games as well. I mean, you, they've got bundles where you can buy you can you can buy more keys, like ten for whatever four pounds and and fifteen keys for more if you fancy any of the other games on the bundle. So if I do this pass blast, get it up up there, so any. No one's interested in picking up a load of these Men of War games, including this one, for cheap. Then, uh, yeah, now's the time to do it. But, yeah, just be warned. This, these games are not for everyone. They are challenging as hell. The AI, the AI cheats like mental. Uh, and you will want to save scum. But if you get, if you get into them, really into them, they, they, they're, uh, they're quite a novel, interesting thing. And expect to spend a lot of time with your vehicle missions doing this, getting your men out to repair them and fix them back up again. Uh, yeah, and the interface, yeah, the interface could definitely be a little bit more smooth. As you see there, I've been doing it off keyboards. You could do it all here, that. You can, things to rotate them round, make them crouch and whatever else. Oh, no, no, don't stand there, idiot, move. They can't run with toolboxes. <laughs> Oh no, he's got an anti-tank grenade. I wish I had. I wish I had an SMG or something. This guy did it. Did I pick up an SMG for him? Move! Oh! <laughs> Literally, anti-tank grenades in this game. Oh my god! If they were this good in reality, oh, there was also oh, there was a tank as well. Oh, there were several tanks as well. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically it's. Quite frustrating at times, for sure. Two, no two ways about it. But certainly for cheap, well worth it, in my opinion. But you, yeah, you've got to be a certain type of gamer. You really want to be slow, strategic. And as you've seen there, you've really got to keep your eye on what's going on the whole time, 
really shepherd your forces. But if you get into these games, they are quite impressive. And there's also, I don't know about so much for this one, but later version, later games in the series, there's also a lot of mods available as well to expand your content even further. I'm sure there is mods for this. It has mod support in it. So I'm sure there are mods available still for it, but I've not looked around for a while in this series, so I can't say for yay or for nay. So anyway, gang, I'm sorry I've whittled on for so long, I kind of lost track of where I was. So thanks very much for taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> three of them. And it was a, a tatty anti-tank grenade that did, in, did me in. Where was I again? I was saying goodbye, wasn't I? Yes, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hope you found it useful and entertaining in some way. And as ever, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to let me know you're alive. I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.